Uh, we're going to kick things off with a tablet that's unlike any other I've ever seen. Jason Hell uh, produces and uh, hosts uh, TNT every morning, our daily dose of news on the Twit Network. He's also the host of All About Android, produces the Gizwiz, does many other things. Yes. His yellow gold is now already platinum. <laughs> platinum, yeah. How much did you raise finally? Uh, it ended up cracking $10,000. Oh my God! The goal was four, so needless to say, I was pretty Good pretty job. Stoked, so Good job. Thank you. All right. Yeah. He, he had a Kickstarter, or was it Indiegogo? It was Kickstarter. It was Kickstarter. Kickstarter project yeah. on his new album. Yeah. So this is the strangest looking, it's a tablet, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, and, and that's kind of it's differentiator, right? It's obviously a gaming device, and that's what it's entirely designed to be. Yeah, but you look at it; those are control. Oh, very but then easy you slide the to tablet just out. Pop it right out. Oh, and it's a tablet. It's Typical a seven Android inch, uh... seven inch tablet, and I would definitely compare this to last year's generation of the Nexus Seven. Last year's. Yes, not this year. It's not the full HD, you know, 1080p okay. display. It's actually 1280 by 800. Uh, but you know. All things considered, the, the, the entire device is $250. So when you're talking about 7-inch tablets in the Android space right now, $250 is a pretty standard price point. It's certainly this, affordable, and that doesn't certainly include affordable. And this the one weird comes with you've got to Exactly. This, this one comes with the highly specialized gaming controller, which kind of has a, like a, a Sega, was it the Game Gear, the, the, the portable? Yeah. Uh, kind of feel to it. But it's I mean, got, it's just... Uh, you've got a thumb controller, you've got a four-way controller, you've your got digital, buttons. You've got your buttons, all programmable, yeah, obviously, buttons. Yeah. depending on the on the uh, the game or so. It's or like somebody stretched running. out an, a, a PlayStation controller, yeah. and put a tablet in between. Yeah, middle. exactly, <laughs> exactly. The tablet is your display; it rests right inside. This actually was first announced back at CES in 2012 as a 10-inch device. Uh, they ended up scrapping plans close to the end of last year and rejiggered it to be a seven-inch device. And they're just now, I think, in June, releasing here, uh, released here for two hundred fifty dollars. UK av availability was just announced for September twenty-seventh. So they're starting to kind of get this out there. And yeah, I mean, it's it's obviously it's a specialized gaming tablet, and it actually does a really good job at being that. This is definitely for the gamer. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of alternatives out right now. There's the Nvidia Shield, but that's a smaller de smaller display, single integrated kind of device, all in one. This allows you to pull it out and actually make it a tablet. This so is like a mullet. It's a uh, business. Yeah. Business in the front. Yes, that's a great way to put it. It's totally the <laughs> party in the in back, front, party in back <laughs> device. That's absolutely the perfect. mullet of tablet. So uh, I see speakers uh, on the bottom. Are those yep. active or passive? Those are. Oh yeah, you know, I don't know if those are active or passive. In I other words, say. I'm asking if the speakers. Yeah, if they're are merely in porting the speakers on the back of the uh, tablet, or if they're their own speaker system on it. Man, you know. I'm just now realizing because I played in headphones because I was, I was playing with this at, at home. This is the greatest game It's ever, really not that loud, so it must be passive, yeah. to be honest, because okay. it's not passing through a, a right. very large are there, Does the thing charge up? Are there batteries? Yes. There, well, there's a battery in the tablet, not in the device okay. itself. So Got it's it. pulling pow power specifically from the tablet, um, which is kind of one of the dings that you have, right? Gaming, uh, especially on Android, and I'm sure just in general, gaming is pretty battery power. Yeah hungry right uh so the battery power if you're gaming a lot using this it's not going to last as long as maybe you know you couldn't just compare it to like your smartphone lasting all day right it it's looks a different like use case you still have access to the power port the charging port at the top there is that right yeah so, so the charging you could port, plug it in oh no you could so this is the uh, usb power oh, on you, the bottom right oh, okay so it's what can't. actually connects into I this see. device so you can't charge but it while you're using you have this little port back here oh, which can. is kind of hard to see so you could plug this okay, in and good. just continue okay. to power uh, continue good. to power your good. play, but uh, so let's see. I want to see Crazy Text. It's one of my all time favorite games. <laughs> so, I thought yeah, the Android so point it. of it was very good, but its controls are very tough to use on the standalone tablet because you're you're yeah. steering with the screen. It's one of those weird. Exactly. Oh, exactly. So I mean, obviously, just using like these the controls. Game. Look at this. Yeah, it's fantastic. I love this game. I was so one happy when it came out for Andro for Android. So yeah, you've got your. Was it the Genesis? What was this on? Or the this uh, was on uh, original Xbox. It was on the Dreamcast, I Dreamcast. believe, initially. That's and what it was. And then you know they they ported it to other versions as well. Oh look how easy but, that is. But yeah, I mean. I, I'm not a huge fan of touchscreen <laughs> controls. I don't I know if there them. are many people that really are that them. would prefer it. I'm obviously playing horribly right now. I bought this game just to play it because I have such nostalgia for it, but playing it on the tablet was very unsatisfying. I'll go ahead and turn that down. Actually, those speakers are, are reasonably <laughs> loud. loud. Enough. Yeah. They're loud enough. Um, performance is great. You know, I played a number of games, and they actually have a list. It's a Tegra 3 uh, processor inside. Okay. So you get access to Tegra Zone, which is kind of its own marketplace designed for Tegra-supported games. 
So there's a, a bunch of games there. If you go to the Wikipad site, there's over 100 games that are listed that have uh, support right out of the box, which basically means the game, the developers have built in support for these controllers and mapped things accordingly. Uh, you also have access, because it's PlayStation certified, to get the PlayStation certified games on here as well, if you want PlayStation games. I also happen to load up a little emulator. Ooh. And so I've got, you know, Super Punch-Out, which was one of my favorite <laughs> Super Nintendo games. And, uh, you know, hey, it does emulation pretty well as well. At so this which, price, I think it's great for kids. Totally. I mean, $250, you, it's really hard to kind of pass that that deal is there any lag between tablet. the controller and the screen is it not that i've noticed it's pretty smooth i mean it's pretty solid you're not doing it over bluetooth right it's it's connecting through the usb right. on the bottom so it's pretty instantaneous but as you say the games have to be designed to work with they it. don't have to be but there are nvidia there are games that work with nvidia so, processors specifically this is capable of playing those. so will any game work with it yeah pretty well okay so any game how will does, work how with would the crazy taxi know where you're Right. Joystick if, is. if the game has built-in support for mapping to hardware controllers, it. it will. Okay, and most uh, games do, it sounds like. Well, a, a lot of them do. Okay. I wouldn't say they all do. You know, it's one of those extra features that game developers right. can add into their games. And some of them don't make much sense for a controller, right? They're full touchscreen games. It really wouldn't make no, sense no. to move it into a controller. Angry Birds space. wouldn't be, it'd be say, silly or yeah, you know, it cut would be the rope. Ridiculous. But Crazy Taxi is a really good example of yeah. a game that's almost unplayable on a tablet, but is still looks great and be fun to play. I yeah, don't. and there's a, you know, Rip, Riptide the the uh, Riptide 2 GP which uh, or GP2 rather that just came out which is more like a water kind of water skiing game oh, that was a fun uh, one I remember play, that plays really yeah. well on here and you know there's a number of different ways that you can play this game where you aren't using the touch screen where you can kind of bend the controller and everything but of course with with this you can use these controllers on the side and, and play it and yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. If what you're looking for is a, a device that can play some of the Android games, and there's a lot of them that are coming out these days, and play them natively the way you're used to playing on a console, I think this is a pretty darn good piece of gear. Let's get the pros and cons. So the pros, let's see here. Let me refer to my fancy piece of paper here. <laughs> Goal, good dual purpose device, and I say that specifically meaning that you, you almost get two in one here, right? You get a gaming system, you also get a standalone it's tablet. It's the Sholo That's tablet. really yep. great. Yep. Uh, the, con the controllers are actually really well built and very comfortable to use over time. And you get that extra gaming access, that access to the PlayStation certified games as well as the Tegra Zone games. Um, Tegra Zone has some first person shooters. Oh, uh, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And it actually comes with some of that stuff already installed when you get it. Uh, cons, it is obviously pretty bulky. You got to be okay with that and heavy. It's portable, but could you see yourself really throwing this easily into your backpack and not, you know, like it's, it's just not like super small and portable. Yeah, it's bigger than a 3DS or something. But I think yeah. you're, you're kind of okay with that if you buy something like that. Right. Uh, controller support sometimes can be a little tricky. We kind of talked a little bit about it. Even on supported games, sometimes the menus uh, still require touchscreen. So, you know, you have to yeah. be okay with a little bit of that weirdness from time to time. And storage. Storage is actually lacking. It's um, 16 gig? 16 gigs, but you can't store games on there. What? So it has, well, sorry, sorry, 16 gigs of internal and it has SD, an SD card, card, but you, you can't, can't store games, games on the SD, on the SD card. card. Right. So you're limited That's to That's an Android gig. flaw. Frankly. Absolutely. It's hard to ding the device specifically right. for that, but being that it's a gaming device, having 16 gigs right off the top when that's a limitation it's might a be a downside. And you don't ding it for Android 4.1 for Jelly Bean 4.1. Uh, it's not the latest. It's not the latest. Um, you know, they, they were kind of slow, slow out of the gate with this device initially, so I'm not surprised that it's still stuck on 4.1. It didn't really bother me that much. It's still Jelly Bean, so right. yay for yay At for least that. it's Jelly Bean. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. And I'm sure it'll get upgraded at some point, okay. although I haven't seen any specific news for it. Um, so... Try, buy, don't buy. What do you think? Man, I was, I was, I was right in between try and buy, but I think I ultimately just opted for buy. I mean, really, At that price. Why two hundred fifty dollars is not bad for what you get here, yeah. and you get the multi-purpose. You're not just locked the into a gaming. Yes, it's the exactly. tablet and the I think for a kid, especially. Yeah. I mean, like a 13, 14 year old. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great, great device. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I have a lot of fun with the WikiPad. Good for them. Thank you, Jason Howell. Absolutely.